Hello everyone and welcome back to the Savage Garage. So in today's video I'd like to talk a little bit about tool storage. Now if you've watched my toolbox tours or any of my tool videos um, and you've seen inside my toolbox you'll know that my toolbox is pretty organized. I like to keep it nice and organized. I like to know where stuff is. Um, if I need to grab it, um, I could even grab it with my eyes closed. That's how organized I like to keep mine. And one thing that I've always struggled with organizing is my sockets up to this point. Um, I've tried the metal rails that you get, I've tried standing them up separately, uh, laying them down um, and I've never been satisfied with the way that they are laid out. Um, so I went online and did some research and I've seen a lot of people use these tray racks. Now they always caught my eye and I was always interested in them but for the ones I saw online were always quite expensive. Uh, some of the ones that I saw were around £30 for these three trays altogether. Um, and that was just a little bit more than I was willing to spend on just some racks. I delve a little bit deeper, found online on uh, a well-known internet bidding site, you all know who I mean. Uh, I found this set here by Nielsen, and this is a three-piece socket tray rack in red, and they house half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch drive. They actually cover a really good amount of sizes as well. In a quarter inch you get from four millimeter all the way up to 15 millimeter. In a three eighths you get from six millimeter all up to 20 millimeter and the half inch stuff you get from 10 all the way to 27 so you're pretty much covered for the majority of the sockets that you're going to have in these sizes um, other ones you'll probably have to just stick to the side um, but it's not a big deal this covers most of the stuff that I own um, so really good I was stunned by the price thought at first maybe it was some sort of con um, but these were actually £9.99 for all three which I thought was an absolute bargain and I thought I'd give them a go now for the majority I'm pretty happy with these, um, especially the half inch and the three eighths. I have no bad words to say about either of them. They're sturdy, they're not flimsy, the plastic feels pretty tough, I haven't broke any of the pegs, the sockets seem to fit over the pegs really nicely, and all in all, very happy with these two sets here. Now the same can't be said for this quarter inch set in the front here, and I'll show you why right now. So if I remove these two sockets, you may have even noticed already that these two are three eighths drive. And there's a reason for that. It's because these pegs seem to be too wide to fit a quarter inch socket on. Um, I have actually got sockets that range from four all the way up to 15 in quarter inch, but these pegs are too thick for the sockets. Uh, and let me just show you what I mean here. So this is a quarter inch rack here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this 11 is stuck on there. I actually can't get it off without pulling incredibly hard. Um, the 11 is stuck on because I forced it on, uh, the 10 just about fits, but anything after the 10, so the 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 are all way too wide for the sockets, for a quarter inch socket. Reason being is because in a quarter inch socket you can see that hole down there, that's standard size in all of the quarter inch sockets, the deep ones, um, and that's just way too small to fit over these. Uh, the 12 only just fits because I've ground it down. The 13 just about fits because I also ground this one down a lot, like a lot, a lot. I probably took about 3 mil off this one, so that just about fits. But the 14 and the 15, way too big, not going to happen. So this is a big downer for me. It's hard to say whether this is the same or whether these are the same size on all the socket trays, regardless of the brand. But on these ones in particular, that is the issue that I found. Now you might be asking, have you tried any other sockets? I've tried three different brand of sockets. I've tried Halford's ones, I've tried these ones, um, and I've tried this colorful set. All exactly the same, none of them fit. Um, every one after the 11 is uh, way too small to fit on this rack, which is a massive shame. I didn't want to have to modify these myself by filing them down, but I have done. Um, it made it work for me. Uh, but you shouldn't have to do that and that might reflect in the price maybe that's why they're £9.99 for the set maybe you if you pay more money you might get a better quality set and they might actually all fit I don't know I can't judge that um, but all in all I'm actually pretty happy with these uh, especially as I said these two if you're not too worried about quarter inch then by all means buy these they all fit on there perfectly there's no issues whatsoever um, it also has made me realize that I have hardly any half inch stuff as you can see um, I've got about four half inch deep sockets, um, so I really need to invest in some half inch deep stuff. Um, but anyway, overall, really happy. Um, they come in this nice box, as you can see it says quarter inch, three eighths, half inch drive. Uh, it's got all the sort of details and lots of nice illustrations and pictures. Uh, £9.99 delivered. 
can't really complain for that price, although this is kind of a big no-no. This, this really should be looked at. Um, I might even email the place that I got them from and just uh, mention this, just so they can uh, know for future. Um, but if you've got these racks and your quarter inch fit, let me know. Maybe I got a dud one. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get these if you are looking for something like this. Again, just pre-warn you that, that your sockets may not fit on the quarter inch one. Um, but yeah, all good really. I'll give you a couple of shots of it inside of my toolbox so you can see how nice and tidy they look. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video.